Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at uh, cutting rocks. So, I did an episode, or actually a couple episodes, on etching rocks with the laser cutter. And so, what I've done is I've set up a jig here on the CNC machine, the 3040, to, to uh, basically see if I can try cutting rocks. And uh, so, I used the same rock I used in the laser example. I simply flipped it over. And what I did is I took this plastic shoe container that I got at the dollar store. And then what I did is I heated up this metal uh, U-bracket and placed it through there and then clamped it down on this vise. And so this is sitting in here so we can pour water. Now what I've done is I've taken these like tongue depressor type um, things I got from Hobby Lobby and put them in here, number one, to... Uh, support the rock from underneath in the back of it where it comes into contact with this metal bracket and uh, hold the rock in place. Now I've got this machinist clamp sitting in here and then so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually going to take uh, a little bit of this high density detergent and actually try pouring it and it's a little bit difficult to work around the camera and the machine so I'm gonna pour that in there so I've covered the rock with it and uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some water and then I'm going to start filling this up so the vise is going to sit in water and for you machinists out there don't get too worried this is just a cheap cheap vise I got off of Amazon so submerging it isn't a big deal and again I'm not going to put this very very far under water uh, just a little bit to cover the rock as you see so we have that. I'm going to use the same type of bit that I've used for the glass and, and see how that works. I don't know. I've also got some diamond bits so I want to give this a shot and see uh, how this works. And so now I've got the machine centered and aligned and everything else. Now the other thing I want to mention, one of the reasons I'm doing this in a water bath is uh, just like with the glass I don't want to aspirate the rock dust. Aspirating rock dust is not a good thing. So if you're going to do this, again, up in the corner, Danger Will Robinson, you have to be very careful when you're cutting things and, and you're uh, uh, creating an aerosol of solid material like this because you don't want to get this into your lungs. So uh, be very careful. The other piece is, as I mentioned before when I did the glass, uh, this is a sealed water-cooled spindle. So operating this close to water, you know, isn't a big issue. Uh, it is on ground fault circuit, and, and so, I mean, there's water coming into it. Well, you can't see it up there, but, you know, I mean, there's obviously water inside this casing. So, uh, again, safety first. You cannot do this with an AC-based uh, or an open face uh, spindle. So it has to be water-cooled before I would attempt this. And, again, attempt it only at your own risk. So, now, with all this set up, I'm going to go ahead and send the G-code. So I'm going to kind of zoom in so you can kind of watch what happens here. Okay, so we quickly saw that didn't work, and again, this is why it's very important to wear eye protection and have proper shielding. I kind of anticipated what happened was going to happen, but I wanted to see, and I also wanted to show you guys uh, what to expect. So uh, again, and I, that's why I cannot emphasize safety enough. I've got chip shields on here on the sides. I've got safety glasses. I'm away, you know, about four feet away from the machine, so I'm clear of any flying debris. So again. As it says up in the corner, uh, this is dangerous stuff. Now, what I've done is I've now replaced this with a diamond cutter. So, uh, and I've got the job set up. So, let's go ahead and let's see how the diamond cutter does with regards to this stone. Now, this is a rather actually soft stone. I forgot to mention that uh, up front. We saw how it lasered in the prior video, and um, you know, so it's not a hard stone. It's not like a quartz or something like that. So, let's go ahead. Let's zoom in and let's take a closer look at see what the diamond cut does now 
Now, I must admit, that one surprised me a little bit that uh, it broke. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to slow down the, the feed rate. I'm at uh, 10, uh, 10 millimeters a second. I think I'm going to have to drop this down substantially because, uh, and I'm at 0.1 millimeter pass step. And you saw that, I mean, just like with the first case, it broke it off rather quickly. So I'm going to make some changes to the G code and let's see what it does. Okay, so we have this shot again. So we've got another diamond cutter in there. And what we're going to do is we've slowed this down from 10 millimeters a second uh, to two, mil two millimeters a second. So let's see if that uh, is slow enough for this. And we're still at about, we're still at a 0.1 millimeter pass step. So let's go ahead and see how that works. So here we are. Here's the result. So I've got a little bit um, where it, it, it chipped away and, and came apart before total finish cut. So I was hoping that the uh, uh, tongue depressors would hold it up against this, but um, didn't quite work out. But I mean, definitely something I can file down. The uh, also let me try to get it in here. The cuts inside here are very nice inside this. The cutout of this rock. So again, the interesting piece is you can, you, you can get two pieces of art out of this. You can see the laser engraved um, background from the prior episode. However, uh, you can see how thick that piece is. It's about 8 millimeters on average thickness. And um, that diamond bit did a nice job cutting through it. I think I could go with a little bit bigger uh, instead of 0.1 millimeter uh, per step or per revolution. I think I'd probably go 0.2 or 0.3 easy. It's just the speed going through it that I had to take down to about uh, 2 millimeters a second. And that really looked nice as you saw in the uh, other video. Outside of that, I am really impressed with the way that this came out. Um, and again, I think you could use it for some really great Etsy type projects. Uh, you know, to make some kind of custom uh, you know, stone features and things like that. Uh, again, this is a sedimentary stone, so it's not a very hard stone. Um, and it, the finish, I, I wish you could feel the inside of this and see this. This is really nice. And it's, whatever is in here, it's kind of sparkly like diamonds. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm actually very impressed. Uh, because I think, you know, this edge can definitely be filed down and this piece recovered. There's no problem with those little bits. And again, you have this piece. So you could also engrave. I'm going to also do some uh, more with engraving. But the biggest thing that I want you to see from a safety aspect, look at, look at that water. So this would be in the air. And you don't want to be breathing this particulate matter, number one. And number two, the water actually cools and lubricates, especially with the uh, high-density detergent soap, which I'm using. So using the water bath is key. Don't try to do this without a water bath. You'll get yourself in trouble, you know, and again, hence the warning sign I'm putting up. Um, so anyways, but with the water bath, the closed spindle, and the right equipment, uh, you can do some pretty cool things. So again, this 3040 CNC with this 800-watt water-cooled spindle just continues to impress for the amount of money I paid for it and what I can get out of it. I'm going to work on trying to develop some uh, other water bath type uh, fixtures. If you have some suggestions, somebody else is doing something with water bath, let me know below. I'd be very interested to uh, hear about what they're doing. So anyways, hey, if you found this interesting, give it a thumbs up. Uh, again, subscribe button is going to be coming over there, the swag shop up there. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.